hard, hard fought game and uh, exciting to say the least. I was, uh, one thing I haven't said, I'm looking back and just kind of thinking over the game a little bit. Um, I, I thought the crowd um, and that fourth quarter and that overtime was pretty phenomenal. Um, I noticed that when we changed in, we started moving. I kind of glanced for a second as I turned around. I saw everybody in the crowd moving down, and um, I thought they, uh, the student section, the crowd was really into it. That was um, our, our kids felt that, and um, <clears throat> we'd love to have everybody out there again uh, this Saturday. And uh, it's going to be another gorgeous day uh, for football. I don't think there's a prettier day on Saturday afternoons in Boulder, Colorado. Um, in October and November for games. It's just been spectacular. Um, so, uh, uh, and uh, of course, it was a hard fought loss, um, heartbreaking, but our kids are, keep fighting and keep bouncing back. Uh, this week, at University of Washington, uh, I think their, their front seven, um, their defensive front is, is excellent. Um, that's the strength of their football team. Uh, and they cause a lot of havoc with those guys, and, and uh, they're playing excellent, excellent on defense. And uh, very, very impressed with what they do. Offensively, um, they've kind of been beat up a little bit at quarterback, which has kind of thrown them off kilter a little bit on offense um, as staying on the rhythm. And, uh, but uh, I think they're a very good football team, have um, a gigantic offensive line. And uh, they're starting to play Shaq Thompson at running back. He had a very good game last week. Um, and they um, got speed at receiver. So I think um, they're a heck of a football team. It's going to be a tough test for us. I'll take any questions at this time. Mike, you've mentioned in the past that the, this game last year uh, was probably the worst performance you guys had of the uh -huh. year. Uh, your quarterback, uh, you know, for him it was a homecoming. Didn't yeah. go as well as he wanted. But how much has he grown in the one year? You know, he's. Oh, I think he's mistakes, gotten a lot better. I, I, Platio, correct me. Did he break the record Saturday? Yeah, so he's he's done pretty well. We still got um, you know four games left in the regular season, so I think that he is uh, well on his way to, to to being an excellent quarterback. And he um, um, you know he's been playing his heart out, playing um, playing through everything, um, fighting through everything, ups downs, good things, bad things, and he just keeps pushing. And uh, um, it uh, it eventually happened as as the things start happening better for our team. Um, I think he'll start having more and more accolades as we get winning more football games. Sefa was asked earlier about finishing games, and he said finishing really is, is kind of secondary to starting games and getting better starts, faster starts, not for him but for the team. How do you go about remedying the slow starts? Uh, we just got to come out and, and execute better at the beginning. We've got to, um, you know, I guess be more focused at that point in time. Sometimes when you get out there, the speed of the game or things happen a little quicker and you're just a little bit off, and then you kind of catch up with it. Um, and we've got to do a better job of that. We, you know, we've come out some games and played well at the beginning, some games we haven't. And, um, but I think we just we keep – we have learned how to just keep playing, though. I think that's probably the biggest key for a football team, um, is to just keep playing, 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 and eventually um, things will work out in our favor. But we do need to – we need to start out better. There's no doubt about that. Coach, you've talked about how you like to do a lot of your official visits after the season. Mm -hmm. um, do you ever come out here and see one of these perfect fall Saturdays that you're talking about and wish yeah. you had some more? Well, we had, we've had some during the season. Um, it just gets hard. The, the thing that's hard about during the season is if the kid plays on Friday night and he flies in late or he gets in early Saturday morning and then you're busy Saturday and then you have Sunday and then you're preparing for the next. It just kind of. But when they have an open date or they play a Thursday night game and it's able to have a, a good weekend, then we've, we've been able to try to do that. Um, so it's just, a lot of times it's more logistics than it is just having a, a gorgeous day because it, it definitely is. So we've had a few guys this year um, been able to work work that out um, on that situation. Mike, with, with Seppo, how much has his growth made an impact on your team as you guys have gotten better this well, year? Well, I think that uh, <clears throat> we've been able to uh, um, compete offensively and move the ball basically on anybody. And any giving, every, every Saturday we can move the ball and score points and do that. So that gives us a fighting chance every Saturday. And uh, so I think that he's given us that, um, our offense and, 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 and Cepho, the way he's been playing, and the other guys too, um, have given, given us a chance that we know every Saturday we can win the football game. Um, you know, when you're not scoring at all or barely moving it, you know, you, you kind of so it gives you that life. It gives you that energy. When a team scores and you get the momentum and you make a big play, it really energizes you. Um, and uh, 
I think that he, they, they've been able to do that for us.